I have a plastic ball here, Stacy. Watch what happens to it when I throw if I have a special throwing tube. Oh, it curves. See how it curves? Yeah, that's really neat. Well, here, I'd like you to do that. Are you a pretty good thrower? No. Well, I think with the help of the throwing tube, and once you understand the science involved, you might uh, turn out to be better than you think. Here, hold the tube. Okay. Because here is a ball that I've got some stripes around, okay? Uh, a baseball pitcher, when he wants to throw a curve, We'll hold it like this and give it a spin. Yeah. Okay, well that's what this tube is going to do. Then you throw the ball like this. See how it's going to give it a spin as it rolls down there before it leaves? Yeah. Okay, now what'll happen to the ball if it's turning like this and the air that it's flowing through is coming, hitting it this way? Well, there's going to be more air pressure on this side. And... Right, because there's sort of friction right here. Yeah. And less on this side, so which way should it curve? It should curve over this way. Like that. If it's going in the other direction, it would curve over here yes, to the Yes, because there's more pressure on this side, so it's to push it that way. Then, if you take the same kind of ball and put a little dents in it like this, just hollow it out with a knife or a screwdriver, and that ball begins to curve, what should happen? Well, the air gets caught in these little pockets. Yeah, so it should make it curve more. Yeah. Okay, well, let's try it. Okay. Here, you take that first one. Come on back here and see if you can throw a curve first one way and then the other. All right. That one was fairly straight. Try this one. Give it a little more wrist. Okay. Aha! That one curved to the right. Now, in order to make it curve the other way, what are you going to do? Sure. Throw it that way. Good one. Wow, that really went. But it's a pitted ball to it. Works yeah, better. pitted balls work better. Now try one going the other direction. Okay. I thought you said you weren't very good. This helps a lot. Yeah, it sure does, doesn't it? Just a plain piece of tube cut off so that you can throw a ball so it spins as it goes through the air. Kind of an unusual kite, isn't it, Stacy? Yeah, that's really interesting. Isn't that's it? really neat. Well, it works, remember, it works on the same idea as the, as the baseball curve, you know, why they curve. With the high pressure and the low pressure? Yeah. Well, now look, this part in the center acts as a sort of stabilizer. Yeah. Keep, then notice there's a pivot on each end and the string is like that, you see, so it can pivot. So this can start to turn. So as that turns, which place is going against the wind and which place is going with the wind? Well, this is the bottom is going against the wind. Against the wind, right? Yeah. And the top? It's going with the wind. That's so sort of curved right. at the top, too. So therefore, this would where would be the high pressure and low pressure? This would be the high pressure right. and this would be the low pressure. And if it's a strong enough wind, the, the differential is enough to make it fly. Oh. So here, try it. Okay. Give it some string. Thanks a lot. Okay. Good luck.